Today on Diesel Insights, we're going to talk about how you should treat your truck in the cold. Specifically, the trucks we work on the most, 2011 and newer emissions equipped late model diesel trucks. If your childhood's anything like mine, you were coached to make sure your engine oil temperature was up before you beat on the vehicle. That way you get good oiling through the valve system, all through the squirters and everything's doing what it's supposed to do. And that's still true. But now that you have a CAN-based data logger, Edge, CT, Edge Insight CTS or something of that nature, you can see the exhaust system temperatures. And now that you see that stuff, I want to coach you into watching those temperatures before you use the truck aggressively. And what that's going to do is make sure that your soot accumulation doesn't get ridiculous and that you're using the catalyst when it's in its most efficient time. Here's the problem with letting your truck idle for 10 minutes before you jump in it and go in the morning. One, diesel trucks move a lot of cold air through the system. That means they don't warm up quickly. So by the time you leave, your engine coolant temp might only be 120 degrees, so it still has a lot of up to temp to do, and it's gonna use a lot of fuel doing that. Two, you're gonna call me and say my mileage is in the toilet. My response to you is gonna be how much cold weather idling are you doing? You're doing a lot, there goes your mileage. Three, even if your engine coolant temperature is up, it doesn't mean that your emission system is up to temp. And your emission system can't do what it's designed to do and can't work properly, especially under high horsepower levels, unless it's up to temperature. My suggestion to you would be, instead of idling, start the truck, let it run for maybe a minute, okay? By the time it's up to a minute, put it in gear and start driving. From there, you're gonna watch engine coolant temperature, you're gonna watch exhaust temperature. Those things are gonna to start to come up. The truck's gonna to start to get warm. It's gonna use that fuel, that warm up mode, low timing, different EGR settings, different emission system settings. It's gonna warm itself up. Where you would normally be burning that extra fuel in your driveway, idling, now you're burning that extra fuel, at least you're rolling, right? And while you're watching those gauges, you're watching to see what is your temperature coming out of the diesel oxidation catalyst? What is your temperature coming out of the diesel particulate filter? What is the exhaust getting up to? And I'll tell you, if you drive the truck and you kind of play with it and uh, you know, use the throttle a little bit when it's cold, you'll notice that soot will accrue more quickly when the truck is cold. The reason for that is that you're below the operating threshold for the catalysts. The diesel particulate filter is designed to passively regen at just about 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's unlikely you're going to get to 700 degrees Fahrenheit driving to work at 30 degrees in the morning without a trailer behind you, but that catalyst works a lot better at 500 degrees than it does at 150 degrees. 500 degrees is kind of the threshold I use. Once I see my exhaust temps pass 500 degrees Fahrenheit and I see my coolant temperature is in a place where I know the oil's flowing well, that's kind of my cue to, all right, well now I can have a little fun if I want. So if you take my advice here, what can you expect? One, longer life out of the EGR system. Idling, not very good for that. Condensation, soot buildup in the EGR cooler, that sort of thing. We need some heat in there, okay? So longer life out of that system. Longer distance between regens. Once the, once the DOC and the DPF are up to operating temperature, they're going to be able to passively regen. You're going to get longer intervals between active regens. What's that going to mean? Better fuel consumption. Not only because you're not idling in the driveway, you're using that energy to drive the vehicle, but also because the catalysts are up to temperature and everything's working the way it's designed to work. It's the little stuff, you know? But over the long term, 100,000 miles, you're going to see better distance between service intervals, longer life out of the truck, more reliability, and lower fuel usage. I'm Nick. Hope this was helpful. Talk to you next time.